we got a double unbox. We got two Tone Kings. We've got the Tone King uh, 10 millimeter planar driver called the Piano, which would be this one, and it retails for $199. And then we've got the Tone King EA Electrostatic Alpha, and this would be more pricey up in the $599 range. And this is electrostatic only let me take a look real quick new flagship electrostatic and ba hybrid driver okay so we got a hybrid and we've got a single planar so tone, tone king's getting with the the planars let me go ahead so i said tuesday is going to be double unbox that's we'll get these brothers out they're related by name only the prices are mm, this again is about 200 and this is three times as much at 600 so we'll see how that goes i've also got my favorite new iems right here and i'm going to talk about that after that first let's go with the piano tone king is not one of those blow your brains with the unboxing like do new apparently or some companies like there's a lot to see there's a lot to do you've got a case Inside the case, you've got tips. And then you've got the IEMs themselves. Let me take this out. Looks like it's a copper. Cable looks nice, actually. That's a decent cable. And again, this is the $200 set, right angled, very nice, durable, double strain relief on the end. Doesn't seem to be any oddities with the cable. Let's go ahead and take it out. So we got the right angle, very strong. Nice strain relief. Go through. Why do I do this? Because every once in a while you get a weird one that, with a very odd kink. Because these things are done on giant ropes. That's going to microphonic right into this camera. Yeah? And then we got a Y split. It matches the 3.5 termination. We've got got a chin slider that works. And then we've got these beautiful little red beauties right here. Hold on just a second. You're dealing with a pro. A pro. Only done this 500 times. Well, lots of laughs at that. I swear that it looks like you can see through it. It's got a neat, yep, you're dealing with a pro. This does not have any ability. Who cares? The police do. Yeah, that's not, I'm not looking at anything with that, done with that. So this would be the $200 set. I'll graph this and see how it looks. It's a very competitive field, the $200 range. If this looks nice, sounds good, graph safe, reasonable, and the public will decide if this is a successful release by Tone King. So you get this set with a nice, appears to be copper and silver combo cable with a nice 3.5 at the end. You get tips, and then you get a case to keep it in. And that is what you get with Tone King. They're, like I said, they're pretty simple. They're not catchy or stingy. That's just the way it is. I actually don't have a problem with that, but it makes me enjoy the stuff like <coughs> Duno even more. Now, this would be the Tone King EA 
electrostatic alpha and this would be about close to 600 bucks this is something that is going to look in the packaging probably a lot like what we just saw so you're not getting any extra connections or anything like that like with Duna but not a lot of companies do that by Baso does it I think they give you I base was pretty cool in that sense that they generally give you that uh, a balance cable then a adapter 3.5 so in that sense I think they do really good now is this this cable looks more like my custom cables for my Sony's my XLR mini adapter system It feels a little bit nicer actually like it's not gonna go crazy that that other cable I just showed you is actually laying in its little spot kind of spiderish let me get this out of here now these are both MMCX and this yeah, we're up another level. So the other one's got the steel screens. It's only got a single driver. This is a hybrid. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I think it does. You can see that VA sitting right there. You know, there's some people out there that this is like the reason that they come. Is that? So the BAs are actually quite small. And then I've got... See the east at. I'm looking through a camera. If anybody wants to chime in after this video goes up, and people are like, God, you're so ghetto. Yeah, yeah. And your point is what? So this says electrostatic and BA. So one of these is that east at type driver, and one is just a BA. And the e stats kind of look like VAs with a little extra piece of something going on. I could do like ASMR videos, just do this for like 30 minutes. I probably get more subs than I got right now. And that ain't a joke. Everybody knows that. Um, so this will get graphed, listened to, and see how Tone King did. The cable is definitely better on this. It just feels nice. It feels just like the ones that I've got on my custom. Same color, same. So this cable's an upgrade. You'd expect that. Also, you've got the separate nozzles now I might be stupid sometimes is that how many nozzles is that because there's two types of drivers so there's four nozzles on this but it looks like two drivers so I don't know I'm confused. I'll figure this out later. That's something to take a look at. Maybe there's some kind of bonus going on there. And then the last thing are my babies. Holy crap, these sound nice. This has got your... It's got a nice, thick pimp cable. It's nice and soft and feels really nice. 
get the same kind of strain relief. And this has got those, they look out. People say, no, no, no. They, they graph kind of like in a way and they look like Tanzio. And I, somebody sent me a mail and said, no, 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 no. There's no relation. I thought, okay. I mean, anyway, as if that were a bad thing. That's one of my favorite companies. Holy crap, they're good. There's 14 drivers in here. So when this thing came in, I thought, there's a hole right there. When this seals, it seals. If it had a dynamic driver, you'd get flex. But there is none, so I get none. Um, but that's nice because a seal is a seal. I like can't hear anything going on outside. The lows are handled by dual Sonian drivers, which is a total of four for the base. And then you looks they've got the what looks like the smallest BA is set back right here. And then they've got the second largest drivers, the mids, or a few of them over here. Very interesting design and this doesn't have somebody pointed out a set made by another company I went and checked and the way that they put these in the shell is not even the same the cap lines are different termination it's all different this thing blew my mind so the big drivers the big dual Sonians are here we're a total of four BAs taking care of the base. And then you've got the mids. I, I don't know what the count is. You've got what looks like more mid to highs. And then you can see the filters inside the nozzles. And then you've got the like super tweeters right there. And again, the back of the big base drivers. And then you've got your wiring package and then your ventilation and you've got four now this needs four bores and it's got four tubes and it's got four filters i don't know why that tone king has got four these are just absolutely gorgeous and they sound fantastic love them absolutely love them full review with this compared with the anoles and compared with the flagship sony's and the uh, these are $999, but they play with the stuff that I've got that costs twice as much. And I just reviewed a DAP, uh, sorry, an AMP DAC that is probably the best that I've got mm, ever. Somebody said compare it with Mojo. That would be a good idea. I think it would sound probably better than the Mojo, in my opinion. The 2019 was the Awakening. For chai fi chai fi is with a small c in brackets and then it says hi fi there's nothing different between these and uh, empire ear legend x difference between that would be the amount of bass but that in therein lies the issue the double-edged sword of the legend which you guys know i bought three times so i'm a fan there's sometimes where that can be a little bit over the top um the anoles are great but they're kind of polite and this has a couple tunings that are mm, really, really, really interesting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video and maybe talk a little bit more about this set. So I'm out. Okay. I'm um, going to give a few thoughts about the uh, Thea Audio Voyager and uh, this music. Billy Squire. Mm, Went to high school with my mother, graduated the same year. I, I met Billy Squire. I met some musicians. I met Tupac in Hawaii um, as when I was young, by chance. At the, if there's anybody from Hawaii, he came with um, uh, Thug Life. 
I believe. Not the not the outlaws? Was it the outlaws? I thought, I'm not really sure. I didn't meet any of them, actually. Though I thought I saw them on mopeds at another point. Um, I actually met Tupac outside of the the Alamoana Hotel that's next to Alamoana Shopping Center. It's got the club where a lot of the brothers in Hawaii like to go to. I think it's called Rumors. Like, right there. I actually met him. I met him at a Christmas party in Wellesley, Massachusetts, which is where my mother went to school, Wellesley High School, and they graduated on the same year. And I, at a Christmas, went across the street from where my mother went. We went to her house to look at it because my mother, my mother and father on her side had passed away, so I didn't recall it because I was too young. And then across the street on that Christmas Eve, we went over to the, because he knows the relatives, and he happened to be there. I, I sat while this dude played piano. So, I don't know if anybody knows Billy Squire. One of those stories I get to tell because I'm, I do YouTube now. Um, this set is beautiful. The mm, Tone King, the expensive one. But it's got four nozzles and I'm not quite sure what that's for. Uh, this is a $200 set and I will um, be graphing these and then I'll be doing reviews. I gotta unbox them before I can get to the next step, which is do reviews, and that's pretty much the point Tuesday. This is a 5BA set of Thea. So Thea Audio has the 5BA and the 14BA. I haven't even touched those. I don't know what they sound like, I have no idea. These are, these are amazing. I'm gonna give you one, if you've been watching my channel for maybe two years, then you've maybe seen this 200 times. Uh, or more. This is this is such a huge song. Somebody made a comment uh, in my comment section because I talk about the cymbal strikes on this and in between it's it sounded like a I'll tell you what this did that the Dunu 3001 didn't do and that did well. That was the best of the DK series and I think it's something that's gonna go in my case. This makes me able to hear that that's not any kind of a kaba that's him probably muting the symbols and and tapping them in between to kind of keep time at the bare beginning of this song the first 30 seconds of no more no more listen to these the piano is as good as i've ever heard it on this set it sounds better than it does on the anole is that the extra BAs? I know that the extra BAs in the bass is doing something because listening to Bone Crusher grip in the grain uh, that I showed you guys in the previous video, it's kind of tickling my ears like BAs don't normally do. Really impressed. But anyway, listening to No More No More and thinking about, do you remember the video I said it sounds kind of like a cowbell? Now that I'm kind of li listening for that, listening to this set, listening to that same part, which is the first 30 seconds. And then in between, tan, tan, tan. It doesn't sound like, like a cowbell or some kind of an instrument, like a piece of wood. It actually sounds like he's choking or muting the cymbal and tapping that. And then he's letting it go and, and crashing it. And then grabbing it again and tapping it. At the very beginning of the song, that sounds clear to me now on this set and it didn't sound like that on any other set but I'll have to go back and listen on my first impression comparison between these and the Anole if I went to a shop I would take these because these got more sparkle let me give you a look <coughs> this is the VX in it this is the one that I've got um, there's always unit variants this looks not that dissimilar to Crin though his seems a little more gradual and this is the stock setting with no like how it comes from the factory the Voyager has a base to mid transition that's a little smoother and it's got a little more info up here which is good because part of the reason that I don't think that the 4001 was appealing to me was it was a little too subdued and I guess that depends on the quality of the driver and then these both have this is probably ground 7-ish. This is right at 6K. And if you're thinking, that looks like kind of a dip. These are the HD800s. And this is 6K right here that's pulled down. If you've ever played with these, then you've played with 6K. 
it's not a big deal and it's actually genius tuning and the mystery is did they do this on purpose or not and then after that you've got a nice bump that goes from about seven six point five this would be about six right in the middle of these bars and then after that's rising and this area just for 8k has got elevation and then more important is this this area right here where symbols will have a little more life and some energy will be maybe a little bit lost there's another peak if I go out to 20k which I usually don't do there's another peak I don't think that you can really hear that this little gap right here and that this has another shelf around 11, 12, 13, kind of around that range. A little shelf right here is nice. There's another tuning of this where it does a whole porch. It's a trip. The Anoli VX costs $2,200. The Voyager one costs $999. And it's top of the line tuning and it sounds top of the line. And the bass sounds more potent because it's got more drivers taking care of that. I think it's a better set. So I'm going to let you guys go. There'll be a full review with comparison with some top of the line stuff, but this is a legit badass. And let me tell you something. The Linsol put up a website last night and it was incomplete. It just was talking about the tweeter drivers. And I got a mail and said, it's, this was not, they got plans. This was not part of it, clearly. Because I was like, these are awesome. Oh, really? Thank you. No, no, no. These are really, really good. Like, these are super good. Oh, okay really you know give, give give us time and um i i don't know what to say you 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 did 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 you check the graphs before you sent it to me and did did was this supposed to be you're asking for a thousand dollars it looks really good the way it's put together it's tuned brilliantly did you not expect because it's expensive i don't know but you're you're you got several items that are up in this range now you, you got a winner right here. Take care of it. Please, 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 please. God in China of the earphone world. Quality control. Quality control. Please deliver to the people that buy this what you delivered to me. And you will have a lot of happy people that have gotten things much more expensive and realized I can get rid of that and then save money and go buy something else plus these please deliver to them the same as you delivered to me thank you very much I don't know how you say you know amen in Chinese but amen and I'm out so full review will be coming for this now that these two have been unboxed the process can begin so I did two in one day like I said I would. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We're going to do wireless then. Um, if you just saw these and thought, I didn't even know you had these. I got so much stuff you guys have no idea. It, it doesn't serve a purpose. But six kilohertz being pulled down. What is something? I mean, anybody that's ever listened to this has pulled that down and realized that sounds much better. I'm not missing anything. And also 4K is lower than 2K. It's like I tuned it, kind of, but I didn't. Just got lucky, or not? Is 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 this all chaos with with like spaghetti on the wall, and then sometimes it sticks, or is there genius going on? I don't know. You know what I mean? Sometimes it looks like total chaos, and then other times it looks like genius. I don't know which one it is. Graphs have way too much weight in this hobby. But that the mids sound a little bit better on this set than they sound on the Anole. And everything else sounds more there than it does on the Anole. And the end of the cymbal strikes and the hi hats and upper info sounds like the final 10% has been completed because of this this is not gone this is amplitude it's all relative to one another like how much 
that is up relative to that. Like that's what this is really, a kind of an amplitude measurement. This information is gettable, and there is stuff here, and on this set it's not. So I think it's a superior set. And if you notice, I dropped my voice a little bit because I'm being very serious right now because this is this is more money. I don't expect a lot of people to purchase it, but if you do, I think you're getting a winner. All all they got to do is r replicate what they did. <sighs> what a nice set. This will never be going to anybody, but everything else that I've been getting will. That's my promise. Okay? So I'm out.